Our role, my role, is important in this hospital because we impact the entire hospital. We impact safety, we impact compliance, infection control. Um, I think that um, our position is kind of like the straw that turns the drink in the hospital as far as the way the hospital's appearance looks, at it, even from uh, say a family member perspective or someone who's just starting in, in the hospital they see it's a clean environment they see it's a safe environment you don't mind having a family member here you don't mind coming visiting the hospital so it's a it's a kind of a impactful total total package at the environmental service we just don't clean we we have you know, a, a tremendous impact on, on, on um, health and safety in the hospital. Okay, did you want me to take one today? Yeah, I'll give you one. This is just a regular maintenance, so we're going to keep on every, all the equipment. Okay. And then if you have any repairs or anything that um, needs to be done, you let the supervisor know and we'll fall through on it before something breaks down. Okay, okay. Um, I'll, put a, I'll put this, we have a clipboard in there. Yes. That'll be a good place to do it, so that way the next person coming on and, do the and same. That, yeah, and I can leave it right in there? Or? Everybody here has been great. I like coming to work. I don't have any issues, and I think that if I ever did, I would be able to talk to whomever um, and figure out what the issue was. Hey, uh, things have been pretty hectic today. Um, so, and I, for discharge people, we have uh, three beds already that I need to go to straight away. Uh, Jennifer Llewellyn, if you could do, you know, pass it down, please. Mm -hmm. ICU 13. Kristen. Mm -hmm. Bible, uh, uh, ICU 5. There's somebody assigned to that, okay? So go there straight away. Uh, Jennifer Mallory is going to go, be going up in MHU, and then she's going to do that Pete's bed first, okay? Environmental services is important to our department because sanitation is priority within the kitchen. Um, we have such a great hardworking staff between the day and the night crew. To maintain a clean kitchen, it's, it's high priority. Yeah, our kitchen is a very, very dirty place and Brian is an integral part. He works together with all of our employees very well to make sure those tough projects get tackled in a timely manner. Hello, housekeeping. Right here. Yeah. I'm Christy from housekeeping. No. Just going to be coming in to clean your room and sanitize everything. Is that okay? Okay. You guess? Okay, I'll be right in. Okay. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Environmental services are very important to infection control because they do cleaning in all the different parts of the hospital. Specific to different parts of infection control, they do um, cleaning of isolation rooms and make sure that all the isolations are cleaned appropriately. Well, one of the big things about environmental services is they're always there. And sometimes we take for granted the things that are always there. They're there to do daily cleaning. They're there to meet and greet patients. They're there to represent hospital, the hospital. You know, and people notice when something is clean or when it's not clean. But what they don't notice is what germs are there or not there. And it's that, that scope that we sometimes forget how vital our environmental staff is to preventing infections to our patients. They're there and they do a wonderful job. We need them and we need to remember that they are extremely important in, in our whole circle of patient care. There are actual studies on this. This is something that the CDC has investigated. And of course, every hospital is a little different. The size of the room, whether or not it's a single bedroom or double bedroom, and what kind of equipment is in the room, all changes how long it takes to clean a room. The important part of this is it has to be done right. And if we ask housekeeping to move along faster than they have the ability to properly and thoroughly cleanse the room, then we place patients at risk. The BioQuell devices were one attempt to try and help that, but now the BioQuell devices actually turn over a room in three to four hours. Mm -hmm. So it's not a very rapid means of disinfection, and it's disinfection, not cleaning. Both things have to be accomplished, actually. Um, I consider the housekeeping to be singularly critical to infection control. And I wish that we would have more housekeepers, and I wish that we would pay more attention 
to making sure that they do have both the time and the equipment and the knowledge to be able to protect patients even better. Every other department has all down to business when it comes to the treatment of the patient when they're, you know, take these medicines and make sure this is your plan, this is what we have to do today. And it's always focused around, you know, all the not so fun stuff of their day they're going to have to do to get better. And I think sometimes it's nice to have a moment where you're just a human being with someone else, you know? Like, while I'm cleaning your room, I'm not asking you, like, oh, did you drink that water you need to drink? Or did you take that med, med that you need to take? Or let's do some painful physical therapy that you probably aren't looking forward to. All right, sir, I'm all set cleaning your room, okay? Oh. I'm all set cleaning, okay? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's get this done. Yeah, I'm Okay. Where's the Kleenex? Kleenex? Uh, here's some on your tray over here. Here's some. Here you go. Okay? Oh, if I could get one patient, one person to smile even for a minute, I've done my job. You know, whether it's just having a conversation with a patient, or a family member, or a co-worker, or, you know, anybody, you know, and I love my job, and that's, that's why I come here every day. I was on an, another floor helping with the discharge, and there was a visitor out in the hallway uh, talking to a, a doctor, and they were crying. They were pretty upset. I have no idea what the situation was, but immediately I just went into one of the med rooms and grabbed a box of tissues, and I... I went up to the visitor and put my hand on their back and they just looked at me like, oh my gosh, like I can't believe that you just brought this for me. And they, they were complimenting me, but really it wasn't for that, they just, they needed it. They just needed somebody to be there and to know that, yeah, I'm just a housekeeper, but I'm there and it's important. I love environmental services, but sometimes they don't love me. <laughs> I'm not really scaring. Oh, see that guy? See him? Here we go. Hey, hey you! Oh. Does infection control love environmental services? Yes, how are you doing? Oh, very good! How are you? <laughs> see, we're friends. Environmental services, infection prevention goes hand in hand. You can't do one without the other.